With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so let's read the question. In recombinant DNA technology, before the use of endo restriction endonucleus, we have to isolate and precipitate the degenetic material that is DNA. For this purpose, we use following different enzyme or chemical. Okay, so basically they are saying that in recombinant DNA technology, before the use of restriction endonucleus, which are a type of restriction enzyme, also known as the molecular scissors. Okay, these molecular scissors are commonly used to cut the DNA at a particular site and that particular site are basically known as restriction sites. Okay. So, for the, before the use of this restriction endonucleus, there are different enzymes and chemicals which are used for the isolation and the precipitation. When we talk about the basic process of this recombinant DNA technology, first process basically include isolation followed by precipitation of the DNA in order to isolate the DNA properly. Okay. So, for the process of isolation, the cell has to break open. Okay. So, first the cell has to be break. So, in to break the cell, basically different enzymes can be used depending upon the cell type that we have to break. Basically, if uh, there are, if it is a plant cell, then cellulase is going to be used. If it's a fungi, then chitinase. It depends upon the different type of cell. And after the process of isolation, when the DNA is free, okay, then the DNA is being precipitated with the use of a chemical which is known as the chilled ethanol. Chilled ethanol basically help in the precipitation and after that, with the help of spooling, the chilled ethanol can be extracted, okay. So, chilled ethanol is basically used for the final isolation and precipitation of the DNA. After that, precipitation, it has been cut by the use of RE, that is restriction endonucleus, okay. After that, it is transferred or basically the gene of interest is added into the vector and then the vector is basically ligated with the gene of interest with the help of ligase and is then transferred into the host okay but the basic chemical is chilled ethanol okay whereas when we talk about other chemical that is ethidium bromide ethidium bromide is basically used in the agarose gel electrophoresis and this chemical which is ethidium bromide act as an intercalating agent which can be used to stain the DNA. So, this can't be the correct option. When we talk about RNA polymerase, it is used for transcription, can't be a correct option and T4 ligase is used in later stages. So, this can't be the option. The only correct option is option D, chilled ethanol. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.